Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to demonstrate circumduction, which is an angular body movement term that blends the motions of flexion, abduction, extension, and adduction to create a circular movement effect. Now the word circumduction starts with the exact same letters as the word circle, so that will tip you off that this movement is going to create that circular or conical movement at a joint. Because circumduction utilizes four different movements, I like to do it in slow motion so I can see how those four movements combine to create that circular effect. Looking at the shoulder joint, I'll begin with arm flexion, then arm abduction, next is arm extension, followed by arm adduction. And when you combine those movements into a smooth motion, you can see how it forms a cone or circle. This sort of feels like it could be the next big dance move. And if you have trouble remembering the specific order of these movements, you can remember the mnemonic FABIA, which stands for flexion, abduction, extension, and adduction. Now you could also reverse that order and do it the other way. However, the movements are going to have to alternate in a similar succession in order to create that circular motion. Now where does circumduction occur on the body? Well, generally speaking, it requires that flexion, abduction, extension, and adduction, so it's going to occur at the joints of the body that allow those specific movements. Circumduction can occur at the hip joint or thigh. Circumduction can occur at the shoulder joint or arm. Circumduction of the wrist or hand can also occur. Circumduction of the thumb can occur. Circumduction of the fingers. Circumduction of the ankle or foot. You have circumduction of the toes and circumduction of the head. And like the other body movement terms in anatomy, nurses and other healthcare professionals will use circumduction when documenting or assessing patients for things like joint mobility. Circumduction exercises can even be used to help with mobility or to strengthen the joint. For example, ankle circumduction might be recommended as an exercise following an ankle sprain. Okay, that wraps up this quick video over circumduction. Now we have a free quiz that you can take on our website by clicking the link in the description below. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.